Welcome back to another Leverloo video. In today's video, we have a guest star. Please introduce yourself. Oh, hello, I'm Joey. This is Joey, that is a fake name. Do not try to track him down. In today's video, we will be sampling Eleven. Yeah. We'll be sampling eleven cans of liquid mixed with alcohol. Some of this is rum and cola. Some of this is whiskey and lemonade. Some of this is mojito and white rum. So we are going to sample all of these, kind of categorize them based off liquor type, and then rank them all. What do you want to do? Like a out of ten? I was thinking first word that comes to your mind. Uh, you take you take the sip. Okay. You get like first that. word that comes to your mind, That's and then good. let's. Yeah, should we do out of 10? I think out of 10. Okay, all right, we'll and that, do out that of 10. that leaves enough room for like variants. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're gonna start off with the spiced rum and colas, mm -hmm. make our way to the whiskey and colas, then the whiskey and juices, mm -hmm. and finish with the mojitos and spritzers. Mm -hmm. Please do not try this at home if you were underage. Uh, drink when your parents aren't looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Up as first, one does. <laughs> we yeah. have Silver Stone. I've never heard of this brand. I haven't either. Okay, no. So this is Silver Stone. Can I just say spice rum and cola? What what what, what is it with the Germans and and adding cola to alcohol? Um, I've never heard of this anywhere else. Yeah, it's because. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's because they are very um, interesting people. Yeah. Okay. I, I just have never seen cola and alcohol together. I'm not a big cola guy myself. Like a Cuba Libre. I suppose. Rum and coke? I, well, yeah, but well, not that's basically not in what can this is. Yeah, in a can form. I yeah. think this is a new trend. Mm -hmm. I think this is like a slow result of the white claw gentrification. Thing. Yes, it's the gentrification. Good buzzword. Love it. Yeah. All right. First up, we have spiced rum and cola, brought to you by Silverstone, which I have never heard of. That might be a European brand. Have you ever wanted to commit just heinous, <laughs> heinous jihad? Yes, I did not spill all over the table. I think on your taste buds. Yeah. What do you think, like that much? Like, I think that's good. Like to start off. Yeah. Thank you, good sir. Mmm. All right. Take it, taking some of, taking the silver stone. We're gonna put them in the front. Mm -hmm. Is that? All right. What do, what do we think about the consistency? Got a good coloration yeah. to it. I I think it's yeah. It smells very rum forward, more so than I expected. I smell Panama City, like Panama City, Florida. You know what I mean? So like trailer trash. Yeah, I'm not like running any drugs or anything like that, but I'm definitely gonna get an STD on the beach for this. <laughs> I think I know this is way too full to have 11 of these. <laughs> That's I'm all realizing right. that right now. That's gonna make it a good video. All, all right. right. Uh, Cheers, my friend. Spiced rum and cola. Mm. First word that comes to your mind. Cheap. Mm. I think the rum tastes very cheap. Thoughts? I think first word that comes to my mind is free women's menstruation cycle products. What did you think of the flavor though? It, it was much more cola-y than, than rum-y. I didn't taste a ton of rum in there. I was expecting to be overwhelmed by okay. the rum. It, it just kind of tasted like a Diet Coke, I would say, yeah. with a... Uh, a little bit of tang on it. You That's know right. I, mean? I think Diet tang. Coke mm -hmm. more so than normal Coke because yeah. it had a kind of like aspartame grossness. Yeah. I wasn't a big fan of that. I'd rate that like a four. I can't read, so I don't know what that word means, but I'm going to agree with you on that. You think one. like a four? Or what would you rate that? I feel like you liked it a bit more than I did. Um, I'm, okay, so I'm not a big Diet Coke fan. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go with. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I like a four. You I like, like a four. four. It's yeah. not gross, it's but not it's gross. like I wouldn't prefer that. No, okay. if I had to drink it, sure. Yeah. You know, I like it more than a Rattler. Uh, oh, okay, so, well, you know. Okay, so we're gonna give that a four. Silverstone spiced rum, decent attempt, but I think we can do better. Uh, you, certainly, we can do better. Um, the next uh, alcoholic beverage uh, we have here is a Captain Morgan um, spiced gold, gold and cola, uh, coming okay. in a nice spritzer, almost um, I would say Red Bull esque yeah. uh, can here. I think it's classy. Um, it's quite. Uh, it's 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 easy to handle. Um, I it's like got some that. Good girth to it. Yeah, I can tell that they. Uh, saved money on the paint and the marketing <laughs> yeah. on this can because it's coming in the standard yet classy um, silver yeah. can. Um, we should note the alcohol percentages. Ah, uh, yes, we what should. What was this one? This one this is 10%. <laughs> this one actually just doesn't say. It says it's 75% cola and 25% rum, and you just kind of have to guess what that means. I am going to go ahead and say this may have just been Diet Coke. Um, yeah. Diet Coke with a splash of like bottom shelf rum. Yeah, 
maybe even toucan piss, yeah. if you will. Um, that's not a toucan. I don't know what that is. Parrot. Parrot? Yeah. Anyways. Uh, this is name brand. It even has the TM above it to let you know to set your expectations a bit higher. So I have high hopes for this. It one has personally. the captain himself yeah. on it. So I do have high hopes for this one as well. Yeah, so. I don't think you throw the captain on cans willy nilly. No, you don't. You definitely do not. Um, all right, here we go. Captain Morgan, spiced gold and cola. Is that good for you? Yeah, I think Okay, all right, all right. Um, I've been doing two swallows, one to kind of taste it, froth it, and mm. then the second one. Yeah, I've just been just let just just down, down the gullet for... Uh... This right, one doesn't go. smell cheap, I'll give it that. The scent's a little better on this one, I think. You think so? Yep. Yeah. Captain Morgan. Cheers, my friend. Mm. Mm. Goes down like a mouthwash. First word? Stronger. Vanilla is the first word I get. I oh. think it's, uh, I get a lot of vanilla on that. Mm. Yeah, I think vanilla. It's good. It, it tastes very um, sugary. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet, but yes. it's good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like Captain Morgan. If you like, do you like Captain Morgan? I do like Captain Morgan. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Captain Morgan guy. I will typically always pick a rum over a whiskey myself. Same. Um, it's just, Same. I feel more, I want to say feminine uh, when I drink a, a, a rum. Uh, okay. I am a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a real manly man, yeah. um, as you know. As I know. Um, and so uh, I, I always prefer my, my rum a bit. Um, Say sweeter. Yeah, um, no, for know. sure. I think you should enjoy what you drink, and I think rum is better. Whiskey, kind of. I'm thinking of uh, uh, what's the big Jack Daniels? Jack actually, Daniels. makes me think of tire rubber. So I'm not tire super rubber. excited. I don't really like the taste of whiskey generally, and yeah. scotch is even worse. But I think rum is delicious. I think when I'm when I'm drinking a nice rum, I feel like Fergie on the beach. I feel pretty. I That's feel fair. I feel strong and powerful. Um, However, when I drink a whiskey, whiskey's I, like let's get in a bar fight. Well, I feel more like I am standing there with my dad as he's fixing his engine, and I'm holding the light in You're the wrong place. Yeah, yeah, and I'm good. Damn, someone can't even hold a freaking light. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna call this one a six. I was thinking six. six. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We so like-minded. Captain Morgan spiced gold and cola is a six out of yeah. ten. Six out of ten. Yep. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to note this. What it says on the back. Taste notes of natural vanilla, called it brown sugar, and a hint of oak and warm spices of the Captain Morgan original spice. I get gold. the warm spices. I got a little bit I of do. Yeah. head rush back there. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Captain Morgan, six, oh, out, six of out of ten. Better than Silverstone. Agreed. Oh no. Next is another Silverstone oh, offering. God. We have rum mixed cola as okay. opposed to spiced rum and cola. So Mixed, what is it mixed with? I don't, I don't know. Is it just mixed with the cola? Because wasn't that? 10%. So this comes in at the same as Captain Morgan. Okay. 10% right. Silverstone, mm -hmm. rum and cola. Love the packaging. Very I like pirate -esque. it. Pirate-esque. Well. Mm. It reminds me of a, um, uh, a Coors Banquet. You ever had Coors Banquet? Mm -hmm. Not being from the, the great state of uh, Iowa, you've not Coors had the Coors Banquet. What's that? Uh, what's it come in? Uh, in a Coors can, typically. Uh, but it, it's a very similar um, colored can. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's got the the Rockies on it as a Coors does. I may have had mm -hmm. one of those. Yeah, I was always a big Coors uh, banquet fan. So I do like the marketing, the scheme as it well. It looks good. The coloring is very yeah. Yeah, let's throw it throw it on the. Oh front yeah, we should there. put it in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have Silver Stone Rum and Mixed Cola. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not really getting too much information off the nose. Really but not. Let's, uh, no. let's go in on this. Cheers. Five. Mm. So you like it a little more than I do. One. I do like I it a little it bit more. worse. You I really? It was a worse. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, tell me why. This tasted like Diet Coke mixed yeah. with cheap rum. Okay. This tasted like cheap rum mixed with nondescript RC cola. <sighs> garbage oh, in my mind. Now that you're saying it, okay, after it's been ruminating for a little while. I don't want to influence your decision. You're not, I just had a thought as you were saying that. Do you taste the aftertaste? I'm getting the an aftertaste. The aftertaste of both these are terrible. Because it's a cheap mm, rum aftertaste. Mm, mm -hmm. I am not, I, d I don't remember an aftertaste, aftertaste for this. This one here, 
Yeah, man, I'm getting that like, you know, it's not even like A&W root beer. It's, yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, like RC root beer. Yes. Like I'm down at the IGA, you know, thing. You domestic said five, violence. I said three, we can meet at four and call it good. We'll say that both of these are fours. So how do you feel about Agreed. that? Okay. Agreed. Agreed. That seems like a fair compromise. Yep. Silverstone, I think those are the only Silverstone offerings on the table today. And they both came in at fours. You need to work on your product yeah. a little not, bit. Not pulling in high no. numbers, Silverstone. Um, I'll be honest, I've never even heard of Silverstone no, myself. Uh, I've heard of the captain, the good yep. captain. And I mean, but that's because they bring in a good product. It's true. It's um, so, yep, Silverstone, bringing it in for less than savory numbers. That concludes the rum portion of today's tasting. Yeah, the obvious winner will be Captain Morgan. We'll push him forward a yes, little bit. Yes, yeah, of the rums. Of course, the king, the captain himself. There's uh, a reason he's lets... got some rank, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll now be moving into the whiskey section. Mm -hmm. We'll be starting it out with another, probably like a grocery store brand. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Statesman Whiskey and Cola. God. Never heard of Statesman. If this is a reputable brand, I apologize. Statesman I just don't pans. trust it. No, I don't, especially because it looks so similar yeah. to Silverstone. Right. Like everything about it reads. This color must be cheap. That's all it's I got to say. Gotta be. It's got to be a cheap color. It's got to be a cheap color to like print on cans. Yeah. Coming in at 10% again. That okay. seems to be pretty standard. Yeah, yeah. So. standard for these colas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're getting into the whiskey, so it means it's time to start. Uh, we're going to start some domestic violence here. Yep. Um, you know, wife the tire iron's going to be coming out. <laughs> I've got a wife beater on <laughs> right now. Yeah. And it's a nice, like, uh, pearl color. It's nice. It, it's supposed to be white. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Statesman Whiskey yeah. Cola. Darker, considerably darker. Is it? Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Oh, oh wow. wow. Wow, that smells like rubber. That smells like... Wow. This smells like a sweaty foot that's been dipped in tar. That's how I can explain that. Oh, boy, I'm not excited for this. Again, generally, I am not a whiskey drinker. No. So I'm we'll, definitely not manly enough. For, oof, I'm not, yeah. not going to enjoy this. Mm, whiskey. Statesman Whiskey Cola going in. Oh man, what is that? I get, and this is probably out of left field, I get um, fermenting fruit. That's kind of the, do you get where I'm coming from? It's kind of like a grapey, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but this tastes like rotting fruit to me a little bit. Yeah, man, they left that one out in the sun for a bit too long. You ever heard yeah. of like um, a raisin in the sun? <sighs> don't know where I'm going Ooh, with that. look at the way they spell whiskey. Oh. <laughs> That's did like, because look at that compared to this. They they didn't add an E. All right, so. That must right. be like a get around the fact that it's not real whiskey thing. Maybe this what I think. looks to me, and I just want your opinion on this. This looks like how a Slavic person might write the word whiskey. Yes. Like this looks like Slavic whiskey. If I was a Russian, it's even called like statesman. <laughs> <laughs> I am American, I belong to the state. <laughs> Statesman, yes. Yeah. I am a member of the state. Yes. Uh, yeah, to which no. state do you belong? Uh, yeah, uh, whiskey is spelt with an E, if you didn't know. Um, not on here, though. But not on here. Um, that should say something. Not... How should we rank this out of 10? A fan. I am going to give this... I wouldn't want it, uh, I'm, personally. I'm going to say it, too. I was going to say it, too, as yeah, well. I, I was think... feeling a two or a three. It's yeah. almost... It's not quite vomit worthy, but like if I had to mm. chug a thing of this, I would, I'd rather chug vodka. Like this is bad. This yeah. is really gross. That's like, I feel like I need like a Marlboro Red or something like that <laughs> after that. Uh, whiskey without an E Statesman, <laughs> two out of 10. Don't buy this. Like, don't. Just don't. And now we're going to move into Johnny Walker Red no. Label. This is a very reputable brand. Yes, I, I have high I, expectations yes. for this, even more so than Captain Morgan, I think. I have very high expectations for this because um, I think you know this, but the viewers don't know this. The, the very first time I legally bought alcohol, the first thing I bought was Johnny Walker Blue, okay. uh, $53 glass yeah. of whiskey. As one does. Um, You're crazy, man. Yep. Um, I, I couldn't tell the difference. I, you could have given me bottom, bottom shelf whiskey, yeah, no idea. I love Johnny Walker's marketing where they just say blue, red, green. Because if they called them different names, that's what people call them anyway. Like, I, it's like Gatorade, it's like the red one, the blue yeah. one. No one says, I had the Johnny Walker 10 year or whatever. You say, I had the Johnny Walker blue or black or red or whatever. It makes you feel a bit fancier. Yeah. I, well, and being a young 21 year old at the time, I thought blue meant like blueberry. So I was like, <laughs> that 
is going to be tasty. <laughs> oh, um, no. Guess what? It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was blue equaled more expensive. Yes. Um, and I didn't know that. So, Johnny Walker. Uh, does this 10% one have a, again. Okay. Does this one have a color associated with it? It's, it's red, red label. Yeah. Oh, red. red. <sighs> okay. All right. Johnny Walker Red. I've got to say, I think this one instantly has less tar in it. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a off. caramel color yeah. versus a black spittoon color. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know what I feel like I'm in right now? A, a humidor. To like okay. smoke yeah. a, like I'm getting a cigar. Yeah, I'm gonna taste. look at the $60 cigars and buy the $4 cigarillo, yep. but I'm in 100%. the humidor. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Like I shouldn't be there. I absolutely nope. should not I be in there. there. Like there are 60 year old men in there yep. and they either want to talk about the cigars or how they are thinking about molesting me later. Yes. Um, but nevertheless, I'm in the humidor and I'm enjoying- but You're there, you're part of it. I'm enjoying the wood accents, yes. the smoky undertones, and I'm smoking something that I don't understand. That's fair. I would say- That's what I got confusion? out of this. Confusion? Confusion. Uh, yeah, I'll give that Thoughts? a seven. I was gonna go six. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll give so it a 6.5? Yeah, agreed. That seems fair, yeah. 6.5. And that may not be indicative of the quality of the beverage. It may just be that we're not big whiskey guys. Agreed. But I think it's solid. I, for one, am quite swayed by the uh, the label and the marketing um, um, because fair. I have a hard time thinking for myself. <laughs> so, um, and that's a personal thing that I that's, am aware of. Okay. Um, so, seven for me. Okay. Because I know the brand. That's fine. You know what I mean? So we're moving on. To, oh, oh, it's your turn. Oh, oh, of course, yes. Uh, next, oh, all right. We're doing Jim Beam now. Jim uh, Beam. It's a, I think we're at a turning point, my friend. Yep. Um, so this has all been well and good. Um, we're on the back half now, and yep. we're hitting Jim Beam, Jack Daniels next. Uh, I'm gonna have to start pouring a little bit more, I think, uh, because Jim Beam is a, just a good American brand. Jim Beam, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey and Cola. I don't. This is bourbon. It's bourbon. as opposed to whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes, we've moved We're on. Very classy. To bourbon. Hell yeah. Uh, so it's about it's to just get a type of whiskey. They're all the same thing. Anyone who says that there's different types of alcohol is just pretentious. Alcohol is alcohol. I'm hoping that pisses people off. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about it. Uh, I wonder if there's some sort of legal limit. To 10%. You can't sell more than ten well, percent in a can. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're all ten percent. Right. Right. Like, that's a little suspicious. Mm -hmm. But. Jim Bean, um, bourbon whiskey, we're gonna start pouring it. I know and love Jim Bean for their honey flavor. I think that it really took off for them yep. in the uh, young millennial world. The late to mid 2000s. Yeah, late to mid 2000s, mm -hmm. Jim Bean honey really took off. Yep. I think it's fine. I normally mixed it with Pepsi or Coke. So I oh. do kind of know what I'm getting into here. Oh, I do not. But uh, I've never had their just straight up normal flavor. So this will be the first time having it, going with cola. I would say I have very medium expectations because it's always a cheaper alcohol. It's pretty dark. That's fairly dark. Wow, it is. Wow. I cannot see my finger on the other side. Yeah, man. So this is it's about to go in. Like, generally speaking, the darker the liquor, the more I dislike it. We might it. need to get like an IV or something like that. Yeah. This looks like Mexican black tar to me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Jim Bean, bourbon, whiskey, and cola. Going in. Hmm. Hmm. First word. Um, surpass. That surpasses my wow. expectations a little bit. And I don't want to, again, I don't want to no, not at all. inhibit your decision making. This is not excellent, but it's better than I expected it to be for a brand that I associate with rednecks and hillbillies. That's so funny you say that. First word that was gonna to come to my mind was Luke Bryan. Yep, um, Nashville, Tennessee, this is your drink. Um, that I could see uh, myself hanging out with like a man like Luke Combs out there um, with he's the boys. He's throwing out Lukes that I don't recognize. I don't know who <laughs> and, these people are. Uh, Six. Five. Okay. That's fair, yeah. five, we'll give it a 5.5. 5.5. That's pretty solid. Yeah. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 it's. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it is just fine. It does not surpass the Johnny Walker. No. to me. Uh, but, but it's not as far behind as I expected. It's not at all. Yeah, as far it's behind. like one numerical yep. behind. Yep. We will now move on to right. Jack Daniels, which is 
Never a good part of the evening, no. frankly. Are you more excited for Barry or Lynchburg Lemonade? I am never excited for Barry. I hear Jack Daniels and Barry, and I'm not excited even a little bit. I'm, I'm just yeah, not. Yeah, I feel that. Because lemonade can kind of mask anything. Yeah. Berry, if that's like a cheap synthetic berry, that's going to be bad. So that's what we're going to start with. I feel like Barry's going to bend me over. Jack Daniels, old number seven, which is by far Jack Daniels' most popular offering. Is it? Yeah, old number seven. That's what you associate with Jack Daniels. They make other whiskeys. I don't know much about Jack Daniels other than like it. Like, it tastes like Thai rubber. It, 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 it creates problems. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily have Whoa, a Whoa, look at the coloring on that bad boy. This looks Rose. like... Rosé. Yeah, this looks like some sort of uh, fruity drink. Yes. I'm kind of excited. I feel like it's going to be a very synthetic taste. I agree. Yeah, I would have to agree. All right. Uh, Jack Daniels, Tennessee whiskey, perfectly mixed with berry. 10% again. There's I have, some conspiracy there. I have a question here. Yes. Um, you order one of these with your boys at the, uh, that the, at the old stomping grounds, the pub. A Jack Daniels or a Jack Daniel Berry? A Jack Daniel Berry, and okay. it's coming, it's got this pink label on it. No yep. one can see what the color of the liquid is coming out, but they see this color coming out. They see this color coming out of you. People out there, they're gonna throw toys at you. They're gonna give you a side eye because they think you got a nice uh, behind. You know yeah, what I mean? um, there's a reason this is in a dark, manly can. Agreed. It's to hide the contents. Because this is a peachy, pinky, delicious looking beverage. It's something I'd order. Yeah. Yeah. You could stick an umbrella in this and completely change the aura. Wow. Brother, smell that. Wow. Wow. Jack Daniels, Tennessee Whiskey Berry. Down the hatch. Oh man. Oh, wow. Did, did your mouth get drier? Yeah, that's got some tannins in it. Wow. Sure. Wow. Do I, I like it or do I it, not like it? I want you to rank, I'm having the same issue right now. You know now. what I mean? I want you to rank it out of 10. Oh, I'm gonna let you finish, sorry. Because I'm afraid that if we discuss it too much, it will alter our rankings. Mm. And I know where I'm at right now. I know okay. where I'm at. I just, but I, I don't want you to influence mine. I don't want to influence yours. I like it after the first three seconds. The first three seconds, I'm getting like a getting like a pickle taste. Um, I think close your eyes and raise up on fingers what you rank it, okay? okay. Three, two, one, raise up your fingers. Keep your eyes closed. Wait, I'm still thinking. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. My hands are up. I've ranked it. Mm. Let me know when you are ready. All right, okay. Ready. Open your eyes. Wow, yeah. this is the first major disagreement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are you at, seven? Seven. I'm thinking four. Really? I like the initial taste. I thought the aftertaste was unsettling. I, yeah. I was just confused. Like I did. It is confusing. I will say, my this was a roller coaster of emotion. It was. It was like, whoa, that's so much better than I expected. Wow. Oh, there's the whiskey. Yeah. Oh, but it's got a fruity aftertaste. Oh, but the aftertaste tastes like vomit. Yeah. Ah, it's kind of mid, okay. And that's why I settled with four, because I was confusing. I went on an adventure, which was nice. I would recommend you trying this if you're a Jack yeah. Daniels fan, because it's interesting. I like the roller coaster, I think. That's fair. Dude, I, we can go for a round two if you want a I, small little sip. I feel like it's... I might have a tiny more sip. Please, yeah, here, here. Why don't you pour me another one as well? I Just feel like sip. it's... Agreed. You get you go from like, wow, that's surprising, to wow, I have soap in my mouth. Yes, to, it's, it's like a soapy tanninic. Yes, tanninic, tanninic. Um, but I also feel like I could have... This is This is why I gave it a seven. I taste soap, and I, at the same time, think to myself, I could have an exorbitant amount of these on a beach somewhere. Like, That's ice fair. cold? Yeah. You're out there just getting your body, like, just leathered up? It is worth noting that we are having all of these at room temperature. Yeah, that that's a good noting, point. Because yeah. that is how they were sold, and I didn't want to put the ones I bought a few days ago in the fridge. That way they'd be an unfair advantage. I would argue that none of these are made to be drank at room temperature. Wow. Wow. Wowie. Here's the thing, the more I drink, the more I'm solid in my four. I think it's interesting and it's worth picking up, but I would not I would not buy it again. Wow. If you like it, that is 100% I, I, I like it. I'm That's giving good. the old number seven a big seven. number seven. What's the middle between four and seven? seven five and a half? Okay. So five and a half, which is not a bad ranking at all. Not is at it all. Back also get a five and a half? Uh, well, yeah. He's also got a five and a half. So that's a solid ranking. For Jack Daniels, I was expecting a two. I'm just yeah, going to be real fair. with you. Um, wow. So we have an upset, and if you like it or not, depends mm -hmm. heavily on your taste. We were pretty consistent with these. Agreed. But yeah, interesting. I like the fruity ones. What can I say? 
That's fair. I'm very excited for this because I think I lemonade well. goes with almost anything. Agreed. Agreed. This is Jack Daniels' old number seven Tennessee whiskey crafted cocktail Lynchburg lemonade coming in at ten percent. Which again, there's some conspiracy. There. Shocking. Yeah. Shocking number. Truly, truly funny observation. Um, Lynchburg lemonade. I believe that Do we they're. Know where Lynchburg is? is uh, Lynchburg is in Tennessee. That's Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So Jack Daniels is made in Tennessee then. Yeah. Says Tennessee on the case. It does. All it right. Does. Yeah. Lynchburg. Have you been to Lynchburg? No. Neither have I. Um, but I've heard I it's a, a great place. There. Nope, there isn't. Um, very lemonade looking. Very lemonade yeah, looking. I'm not getting anything crazy. You could go to your cousin's grad party and oh, cause yeah. ruckus with this. You, you could pour this in a transparent bottle and everyone would think it's actually lemonade. They're on to something. I hope this is good. Yeah, because I'm going to bring it to work. Ooh, I hope this is good. Um, it just smells like lemonade. It's got a little bit of a something something to it. Yeah, but... it does. All right. I'm feeling like... What is that giving me? Almost... Um, I don't want to say it. It It's giving me a little bit of Four loco flashbacks. I've it's... never had a Four loco. What? Yeah. It was before my time. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry. All right. Uh, Jack Daniel Tennessee Whiskey Lynchburg Lemonade. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh. That one damn near gave me the rickets. <laughs> You're quivering a yeah, little bit? Yeah, I got Shaking uh, yeah, I got, I got a little quiver. Yeah, I think we one. rank five. five. Solid. Yeah. Interesting. It's mid. Yeah, it's mid. It's, yeah. I think it's better than this. You would disagree. I but disagree I'm glad heavily. that we are consistent with the five. I disagree heavily. I think that the lemonade flavor is much, much more artificial than the very descript berry flavor. I think it's fine. Our it's fine. mutual ranking is that it is on par, if not slightly worse than yeah. the berry. Yep. If you are getting this anyway, odds are this is sitting next to it on the mm -hmm. shelf, so mm -hmm. you may as well also go to try. Yeah. But I would not run to the store for this. Walk slowly, and if someone beats you to it, cool. Agreed, agreed. This is what I'm gonna say. Um, if you're out on the beach and you're out there, you're getting leathered up, you know? You see the old uh, single moms walking by. You got your shirt off, you're looking good, sure. right? You're out there, maybe you got a line in the water. You're not catching anything, but you got the line in the water That's to look like you're a bit edgy. Purposes. Right, you've yeah. got, you even got a boogie board sitting next to you. God, do you know how that to boogie board? Day. Absolutely not. Never but. Been. One thing you can count on, you're sitting there, you're leathered up, you've been to the gym for the past week, you're looking artificially jacked. Am I right? Big so, pump. love it. you're sitting there, you got your Jack Daniels in your cooler, this one I'm gonna say, you drink this before you drink this. Because by the time you're done with this, that tastes pretty good. Those are gonna taste all right. That's you're probably gonna get another difference. And That's you know what? Point. Maybe that little mom walks past you. <laughs> Maybe she does. Maybe she walks past you. Maybe you say, hey, you want some lemonade? She says, Catch anything today? Of course you're not. Of course you're not. But you tell her you are. You tell her you get a couple the... nibbles. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. But I'm I'm excited to get a nibble. That's why this man is married and I'm not. That's true. Uh, does that say you have to be 18? Yes, it says, Abgabe an Personen unter 18 Jahren verboten. Jim Bean, we just did this, but my camera stopped recording because I don't have real filming equipment. It's very good. It tastes like water. Let's do a quick splash. Yep, yep. Give me it's a splash. It's like 2% alcohol. It's mm. really nothing. Blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's delicious. It's wow. a woman drink. A white mom would love that while I'm she's a at a middle function. middle-aged white woman. If I was I shopping for divorced. Tupperware, yeah. I would be all into this. My God, it just makes me want to buy a vacuum. <laughs> Mm -hmm. from like a very mildly attractive middle-aged man. I want to buy a vacuum that my cat can ride on, so what I mean is a Roomba. It's a good dance. Very good, we ranked it. Um, I ranked it a six, he ranked it a four. We settled at five. Mm -hmm. Five is the final ranking. It's mid. If you are a man or identify as such, don't pick this up. Next up, we have, oh, I didn't realize this was also Captain Morgan. Yeah, dude, that's why I wanted to get it. We were at, okay, oh. so backstory on this. We were at the store and we were about to walk away from this. And listen, your boy Joey here loves a mojito. I will say it uh, until I die, I love mojitos. And I saw the old captain who I trust dearly. Yeah. The captain has never, he has never let, us, let us astray. Uh, the old captain had come out with a mojito and I said, Captain, 
Captain. Oh, Captain, my oh, captain. captain. Oh, Captain. And I said, Lou Dog, we got to go back for the mojito. We got to. And so now we have a mojito to drink. This is Captain Morgan mojito with white rum and lime and mint flavors. 10%. 10%, delicious pre-mixed and ready to drink. I believe you, I, I trust the captain. It's got a nice green flavor, which mm. if this was not a mojito would be concerning, but cause it's a mojito, it makes me think good things. Cause I, it makes me think there's actual mint in here. I, I have to just be honest, this looks like windshield washer fluid, um, but that's all right. It's not meant to be seen, it's in a can for God's sakes. Ooh, I get actual wow. mint on the wow, nose. Wow, which wow, is impressive wow, 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 wow. My, if you have seasonal allergies, this will open you right up. Yeah. Mint is an integral part of a mojito experience, wow. and oftentimes it's muted. This seems yeah. very in your face, which I'm excited for. It's, yeah, it's like a real mint. It's not like the, it's almost, I wouldn't say a spearmint, but it's like it gives you that, you just put in a yeah, piece of Yeah, when you bite a life size and you're like, yeah. yeah. All right, wow, going in. That's great. Dive bar. I know that's two words, but with a hyphen. Smooth. Smooth, okay. Smooth, brother, yeah. smooth. Wow, I could drink a lot of that. Yeah. The first time I ever ordered a mojito was on the Tybee, in a, in a dive bar on Tybee Island in South Carolina near the water. And it was delicious, it was mixed fine, and the cup was a little dirty. You know, and that added to the aesthetic. And that's what I get from this. Probably, I think, that's just a good mojito. Yeah, this is a good mojito. That's, I like that. I could drink a do lot we, of that. Do we rank it out of 10? Of course we do. All right. Let's count down from three. Yeah. Three, two, one, Eight. nine. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. I was going to go with a nine, but I didn't want you to think you I was being. You don't want to go too crazy. Yeah. I didn't want you to think I was being like, you know, superfluous That's or whatever fair. the word is. And you know what's crazy about this? Wow. For tasting better than this. This is 10%. I, that's what I'm saying. That's All right. 10%. So we probably, okay, to be honest with you, we probably should have come at this with a little bit more of a formula, but I've just, I've recently been switching my rankings from, not from, but including taste and functionality. Fair. This has both. Yeah. Am I being swayed by the word mojito? Because you know it's I love mojitos. Word. It's a fun word. It is a fun one. So we give it an 8.5. You know what? I'll go with nine, dude. I if don't want you to alter your decision. It's I, already the highest. You don't have to. I, but does it deserves a nine to me? If you actually want to change, we I like it. A nine. I, I think we throw it in the nines. Okay, Captain Morgan mojito. God, we might have to go get more of those. Later. That's a nine. That's baby. great. And it is so far the champion. It is so, so far. far. We only have one left. It's and it's so the far. captain himself again. <laughs> again. And I just got to say, he is on a roll because a roll. he was the best of the rum yeah. as well. So. Oh, and Johnny Walker was the best of the whiskeys. Yep, yep. These might be the same thing. If it is, listen. I'm. This will be an interesting test. Yeah. I can't tell. They're both 10% alcohol. This says... Cur Caribbean white rum mojito with rum mixed with lime and hint of mint. This says genuine Cat Morgan mojito with white rum and mint flavors. So maybe this is just a Caribbean rum versus maybe. a white rum, but I thought yeah. all Cat Morgan was maybe it's rum. a Maybe it's a spiced rum. Maybe. I'm right, excited to try find it. out. I will say this, I would rather drink it out of this can than yes, that can. This can is much more <laughs> nondescript. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would drink this at a at a graduation party. I just gotta say it. That's fair. Mm -hmm. That's a good locale. Yep. For such a beverage. It looks like, yep, yeah, yep. I've got the windshield wiper fluid mouthwash yep. coloring. This yeah. may be the same thing. And maybe they sold it in this maybe. and then that wasn't selling it, so they switched to this. I, I was I thinking know. the other way around. You I was think thinking so? they sold it in this and then because of the uh, the demographic they were selling to, they switched it to this because it's got the blue coloring. Be, yeah. I mean, look at the, the label. It's a yeah. beautiful label. It really is. Caribbean white rum mint. We may have already tried this, Captain but Morgan. Captain Morgan. Yeah, it's the same thing. One of these is one, one is the other, or they're both the same. You oh. do not know. Can I, can I look? Yeah, you can okay. do whatever you want. I want you to tell me which one's taste you prefer, okay. or if they are the same. All right. Okay. Really understand that flavor profile. Okay, all right, I'm Compare feeling it. and contrast. It's going to the back of the throat. It's, it's sliding down the esophagus. Go. I'm gonna fill it less full. Are those different? Mm. 
No. You didn't, I poured the same one twice? Yes. I did not. I so think, So we think they're the same. I we think they're, they're the same. No. All right, this has been a Leverlu whiskey cola mojito tasting video. Um, the winner of all of these mm -hmm. was the Captain Morgan mojitos. Mm -hmm. And in last place, I think it was the, the Statesman. Statesman. Yeah. The Statesman whiskey cola. That was God. the last place by far. So if you're going to buy a mojito, um, anything with the cat on it is fine. If yep. you're gonna buy a whiskey, maybe stick with the Johnny Walker name brand for a reason. It's, it's good. reputable. It, I agree. And then with the rum, the cat one again, kind of cleaned house today. The, the captain is just a reliable source of alcoholism. Yeah, I will say my opinion of the brand has increased after Agreed. this video. Agreed, I will certainly, for my future rum endeavors, be looking to the captain. Yeah. So I know you're a big uh, blackberry fan. I do love the blacker the berry, because they say the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. I don't like the little scrolly thing in the middle of the phone on the blackberries. You don't, it's like, why would you have that? Um, but besides the cell phone and the yeah. IT department, yeah. blackberry is not my typical flavor. So I think maybe that's why I like this one so much, because I was expecting with the purpley color, the black, I was expecting a blackberry flavor, and all but it's I just got. Berry was a nondescript berry. And yeah, it is kind of nondescript. Wow, do I love a nondescript berry. Okay, that's yeah, fair. It's 2023, it's okay to be Don't describe your berries. You should literally Overrated. never describe your berries. And it, it doesn't leave enough to the imagination. If you don't know what your berries are, neither do I, brother. It's, true. it's all good. Thank you so much for watching today's Leverlu video. Um, comment below what we should poison our livers with next. Mm -hmm. um, comment below if you like my guest star. I do guest appearances sometimes. Um, I know this guy's a little silly, a little goofy. Um, if you prefer the Australian, that's fine. You're not getting him back. He lives like 1,200 miles away. He is a, a far bit away. Um, this is the Michiganian, correct? Something like that. Yes, yeah, so this is the Michiganian. So if you prefer the Michiganian to the Australian, comment below. And I'll catch you in the next Leverloo video. Peace.